we are going to check on Lightspeed Classroom to see what the students can do and what the teachers can see them doing as well. So uh, Mr. King is here, AJ, and he is our student. And I'm going to act as the teacher. And I'm just going through uh, Launchpad and Classroom. So your sign in normally here, you would go through Google and you would choose the appropriate account. In this case, we're choosing a discoverable account um, instead of myself. And you would choose your, your own account as a teacher. And then you will see in the upper left hand corner here any classes that are assigned to you. And those classes are all pushed from focus. So we're in our test class right now. And we have one student, this unknown test student. And this student is checking out different websites right now. So we want to see what we can see. So it says currently browsing ABCYA. So if we click on that student, we can see their screen. ABCYA shows. And this is in relatively real time. So he's drawing on the screen right now, and we can see that. So he's actually doing that here, and you can see what's going on as well on the screen. You can also see any open tabs. So if, for whatever reason, you wanted to close that drawing tab, you could. And it closes that tab for the student almost automatically. Oh, there you go. I know. Um, it will also show browsing history, so you can see what sites the student was going to and when. We're, we have options here to share the screen with them. So if you want to share, we can lock their screen. So if I choose on that, this is what the student sees. No. No. And that's what happened to Mr. King. He can't do anything. You can unlock the screen, so now he can see his favorite characters again. And then we can also record the screen for posterity. So if you need, for whatever reason, to record what's going on, uh, you can do so. And these recordings stay with Lightspeed. So we're going to hit record. And right now we're recording him trying to get onto a YouTube video that he's not supposed to get to. So that recording is still active. And the recording is not is not necessarily real time. It gives you a slide by slide presentation, so you know what's going on. Kind of here in the background on the microphone here, what is going on? There you go. So, if for some reason Adele's bothering you, you can close that tab for the student. So you heard Adele was saying hello, and then we said goodbye to Adele. Um, <laughs> Drive is still there, so you can see uh, where they're at. But please notice that when I clicked on that, it goes to the, the drive itself. It doesn't necessarily go to where the, the kids are seeing. So that is the upper level. So if they're on PBS Kids and you click on that, it'll take you to PBS Kids, not necessarily the exact content that that student's looking at. Um, here's uh, Starfall, grade one, two, three, he just went into. So any of these are available right away. And we're still recording so you can see what the student is up to. Uh, when you're done, hit to stop recording, and then you can check your uh, recordings. So you can star. see what was what's going on here. So the ABC, the paint site was there, and then Daniel, and then when we blocked him, so everything is recorded there for you as well. Some other things you can do while the student is online is you can send them messages. Ask them if they need help. It'll show up on the right side of their screen. Um, check to see if they're finished with their assignment. Or, great job. There are custom messages you can do down here. I would, I would mind uh, probably not doing those unless it's something very, very specific. Stick with what's here if you can. Um, and there you go. All your students will show here. If you have, uh, let's say, 100 students on at the same time, this will only show, I believe, up to 49 screens at once on this heat map. The other view is the list view where you can see the student name, or at least what their name as they signed on, their currently browsed site, and what they mostly were using. 
Uh, you can also pin a student right here if you need to uh, to see you know, what they're going. So as you're going through a lesson or whatever it might be, you can monitor them closer than the others.